my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. Today I have a super fun what I eat in a day on WW video for you. I'm going to show you everything that I eat throughout the day today. You'll see a little bit of diesel and Lola. I have some fun things to share with you and of course I have a really good crock pot dinner recipe so this makes it super simple for those busy weeknights and busy weekends so definitely stay tuned for crock pot recipe in today's video you are going to find the link to my website well you'll find that recipe down in the description box below you'll also find the link to my nutrition coaching website i highly recommend at least having me help you determine your macros calories and splitting up your smart points every day and also i offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching as well so definitely check that out down in the description box also links and discount codes to my favorite things as well as a lot of the items that i shared with you are also down below so check it out there's lots of good information down there for you if you are new stick around subscribe click your little bell notification so that you are notified when new videos are uploaded. I do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday and I do upload most days of the week. So make sure you're subscribed. We'd love to have you join our community. Thumbs up this video if you love what I eat in a days and let's jump in to today's video. I'm gonna fill up my water. You guys know I'm doing the gallon of water per day, every day in September. So far, so good. So this is my gallon water bottle. I will link this down below. I bought this and this off of Amazon. Super, super affordable, like the cheapest and excellent quality. I love too that the gallon does have the handle in the back and the strap. So what I do is I fill this up the night before so it's nice and cold. I do like my water cold. And then what I do throughout the day is leave this in the fridge and then I fill up my my smaller bottle same brand as my larger bottle this one does have the straw with the flexible base and the lid it also comes with the sip lid as well but what I will do is just go ahead and fill the smaller bottle from the gallon bottle and then that way I can have it be nice and cold and also know that I am indeed drinking a gallon of water because this will be completely gone by the end of the day so I'm gonna go ahead and get this filled up Bottle number one. Good morning, guys. As you saw, I just filled up my water for the day. I decided to get ready today. I know who am I on a Sunday, but I decided to go ahead and put a little makeup on, straighten my hair because tomorrow I want to put in the beachy vibes and I have to have it straightened first. Otherwise, it's just a frizzy mess. So I thought I'd sit down really quick before I make breakfast and take my greens. So I wanna show you guys the greens that I use if you're new to my channel. If you're not, you guys know I take these every day and I am obsessed with them. So these are my greens. These are from My Adventure to Fit. This is the banana apple flavor. And basically what this is, is it is all of your daily greens in a powder form. It makes it really simple. If you struggle to get in your greens or if you just don't like leafy vegetables, this tastes really good. It reminds me of sour candy. So you can either mix this in with water or you can dry scoop this like I'm going to do. Just be careful when dry scooping not to choke. There have been issues where people had a hard time swallowing the powder. So make sure that you're doing enough water and powder ratio. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry scoop mine. I've become quite the pro. Of course, I was nervous at the beginning too, but I've become the pro of dry scooping. So I'm going to dry scoop my greens, show you guys how I take them. This is the same company that I use their pre-workout. I'm gonna pop a picture in right there of my pre-workout 
the best. I love it so, so much. Get your hands on that and this. There is a code and a link down below that'll get you 10% off anything from this website. It's a small business. She, it is an Instagram influencer who started this business. So highly recommend supporting it for the small business aspect. And plus it tastes really good. So let's take our greens. All right, my greens are done. Tastes really, really good. I've got a good dose of greens in. Plus I got some water in. So again, check these out down in the description box. Again, I do have 10% off for anything on her website. So now it's time for some breakfast. So here is breakfast. I am in the fall and pumpkin mood. So we have pumpkin everything. We have a beautiful pumpkin plate. I have one egg and two egg whites for zero points. And then I've been loving these bagels. You guys saw me haul these in Tuesday's Trader Joe's taste test pumpkin haul. And that is the Trader Joe's pumpkin bagels. These are so good. Now they are only 240 calories, but they're eight points. I don't know why. You guys know how I feel sometimes about calories and the points and things, but these are eight smart points, but they're well worth it. And then I have two points worth of the pumpkin cream cheese. This stuff is my jam. As you saw in the video, I love this stuff so much. I am going to be stocking up before it's gone. So I went ahead and just measured that out on my food scale. So this is 10 smart points for breakfast. I was going to have some fruit, but I think I'll save that for my morning snack. So 10 points for breakfast. Look at how smoky it is. We have absolutely horrendous air conditions right now. I'm in the state of Washington and there are fires everywhere. It is so smoky that it looks like it's foggy outside and there's a public health alert that we should not go outside. The air quality is 486 out of 500 and 500 is the worst that it can be. So good heaven. So I am staying indoors today. I have lots to do around the house, but how sad that our air quality is so terrible. How sad about the fires. And if you are affected, your home is in danger or you're affected by the fires, my heart goes out to you. It is about 8 30 in the morning and as you saw i just filled up my water bottle for the second time which means that i am one water bottle and a little bit away from that full gallon of water by 8 30 in the morning so i just wanted to share with you guys a couple of tips and tricks when it comes to getting your water in you can always add water enhancers i personally don't use those just due to ingredients but that's a great way to flavor your water and make it a little bit more fun to drink as you saw i put lemons in mine i generally will go with lemons limes oranges or cucumbers and that also naturally flavors the water which i really really enjoy and that helps me drink my water a little bit faster as well but my big tip for you is don't allow yourself any other beverages until you've drank your gallon of water i have my coffee in the morning because i need coffee or i'm a zombie but once that coffee is gone i start on my water and i am not allowed to have any other type of beverage coffee sparkling water pop whatever until i have drank my gallon of water so it keeps me motivated and it also ensures that i get in that gallon of water because i don't allow myself anything else until that gallon is gone and then once i empty out my big gallon jug i just refill it immediately throw it back in the fridge for tomorrow now honestly most days i drink more than a gallon of water i generally will probably drink closer to a gallon and a half to two gallons but at least i have that ready and in my fridge because if i don't fill it up the night before I don't drink it because it's not cold like I like my water to be. So I recommend these water bottles. It's definitely the gallon one just because it makes it easy to track your water and make sure you're getting in a gallon. And again, these are linked down below. But I wanted to share with you guys kind of my tips and tricks when it comes to getting in your water. We need to get our crock pot going for tonight's dinner. I'm making slow cooker chicken carnitas and we're gonna put these with taco shells. It's gonna be amazing. I did modify the recipe quite a bit because we are not big spicy foods person and the actual recipe calls for chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, just things that we don't generally like to have. They're too spicy for us. I am going to link the original recipe on my website as well as my modifications, but let me show you what's in our recipe so we can get our crock pot going. First, you'll need some chicken. The original recipe calls for two pounds. I'm not sure how much this is. I'll weigh it out before I throw it into the crock pot, but chicken is zero points, but I do need to know the calories. So this is quite a big, heavy pack of chicken from Costco. A couple of onions, a couple of limes, and an orange, some salt, cumin, oregano, and garlic powder. 
You're also going to need some chicken broth, and I'm going to add some salsa. So in place of the adobo and the chipotle peppers, I'm going to do salsa. So this one from the Thrive Market is amazing. It is very mild, but it is full of flavor. Definitely check out Thrive. I do have a link down below, and you will get a gift up to $22 value for free when you join Thrive. So definitely check them out. It's my go-to, 30% less than grocery store prices and thousands of healthy options. Love Thrive so much. So I'm going to use the rest of this salsa. And then I picked this fall harvest salsa up at Trader Joe's. You will see that taste test and haul tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I am going to add a little bit of this. This one does have a bit of a kick. So I'm not going to go too crazy because again, spicy. So this is what we need for dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and get my onions chopped up and then we'll get everything into the crock pot. So we are ready to go. I've added my chicken to the crock pot. I did use a crock pot liner. Game changer, you guys. Clean up, super easy. You just pull the bag out, throw it away. I weighed my chicken out on my food scale. It's 1.12 pounds, so that is how much chicken I have. So let's add the rest of our ingredients. So I have three quarters of a cup of chicken broth, so we'll add that. And then we're going to add our spices. So I have some salt. So I'm just going to put a pinch of salt because the chicken broth, even though it's low sodium, it still has a little bit of sodium in there. So it'll give it that saltiness. I have some cumin. I'm just liberally going to pop that in. This is the seasoning that makes it taste Mexican or carnita-like. And then I'm going to add in some dried oregano and I'm going to do about a tablespoon. Again, the original recipe is linked on my website if you want to follow it exactly. And then some garlic powder. So I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of garlic powder as well. Like I mentioned, I did go ahead and chop up those two onions into rings and I'm just going to put those into the crock pot. I'm just going to break them up a little bit. Once they start to soften and cook, they'll be fully broken up anyways, but I am just going to kind of break them up a bit when I toss them on top of the chicken. So I set my crock pot on to low for eight hours. I'll just keep my eye on it. Look at how good that looks. So dinner has been started. Can I help you? What's going on, baby? I thought you'd still be in bed, but you're not. You're in the kitchen with mom. You wanna cook with me? Well, hi, handsome boy. Is she mama? Hi, buddy. Oh yeah, stretch it out. Are you still tired from the lake? Yeah, I think you are. You just rest today, buddy, okay? Okay? We'll go ahead and start the fall home tour here outside. So I have this cute little scarecrow that says happy pumpkin spice season. I actually picked this up this year, just a couple weeks ago at Hobby Lobby. It's so cute. And then I also got this at Hobby Lobby at the same time. It's this tall scarecrow that says welcome. And I loved it because it was red, so it matches my front door. And then also at Hobby Lobby, I grabbed this mat that says hello pumpkin because this can be used for fall and also for Halloween. And then on my front door. I do have the same wreath that I've had for quite a few years. It's this cute little holiday wreath. I got this at Rite Aid after Thanksgiving a couple of years ago for like three dollars and I just love it. I think it's so cute. Perfect for a front door. And then right next to my front door, I have my little scarecrow. It's child size. I think it's super cute. This I also picked up at Rite Aid after Thanksgiving for less than $5. I just think she's really cute and she's perfect here by the door. A couple of years ago, I picked this sign up at Hobby Lobby that says Harvest Blessings. I just think that it's really cute and it kind of sits on the wall here by my front door. And in my main living room, so we have a formal living room and a regular living room. So in the formal living room, which does not have a TV, it's more of just a seating area. That's where the little scarecrow girl and the harvest blessing sign is. I also have this entryway table. This is new. You guys saw me haul this mirror in a what I eat in a day. I also got the table and the mirror at Hobby Lobby. And on my table, I have these cute little glass pumpkins. These are from Costco a few years ago. They were $10 for all three, and I just think they're so pretty. This little girl, she is also from Rite Aid. I got her at the same time. I picked up the large one. This Thankful and Blessed is from Hobby Lobby last year, but I did see this this year at Hobby Lobby. 
And then I also picked this up this year from Hobby Lobby. I'll go ahead and turn it on, it's so cute. So it's this cute little lighted pumpkin and it just kind of goes really well on the table. And then down below I have a lighted pumpkin garland. So it has leaves and little mini pumpkins. I got this at Hobby Lobby this year. And then on the table, I have this table runner. I just think this is so cute. It's got these three stacked pumpkins, orange piping, and then like a yellowish colored trim. And this is from TJ Maxx last year. So that's what you see again when you come in our front door. Now we'll take a quick look at the main living room, which all I have in here, very, very minimal when it comes to decorations, is I just have this cute little scarecrow here with the beaded feet. I got this in Leavenworth on one of our annual anniversary trips. I just think he's really cute and he sits perfectly on the little table here. And then into the kitchen, I have this fall leaf table runner. This is also from TJ Maxx, but I've had this for four or five years I just love it because the leaves are kind of die cut on it and I just love the fall colors I have two of these cute little buckets and in the buckets is this pine cone and miniature pumpkin this you guys I've had for so many years I can't even tell you where I got them but I have one on both sides of my large pumpkin in the middle is this beautiful, it is kind of a tin pumpkin. It has a candle holder in the middle. I love it because I can keep it up for fall and Thanksgiving. The pumpkin is from Pier 1 and I also got that a few years ago. So this is kind of what is on my kitchen table. Give you that fall vibe on the table. And then over here on my French doors, I just have this cute little sign. This sign is actually from the Dollar Tree and I've had it for several years. I think I showed you guys it in my little fall tour last year. And then I do have just a few things on my kitchen counter. So I have this meet me at the pumpkin patch from Hobby Lobby last year. I did pick up some cute little hand soaps from Bath and Body Works that are pumpkin and fall. And then this soap dispenser is also from Bath and Body Works. It has some silver leaves on the one side. I love it and I wish that I could find some other fall soap dispensers. So if you guys know of a good store to look, let me know because this one's kind of on its last legs. I've had it for several years. And then over in this corner, I have this cute little white pumpkin with gold accents that says, hello, fall. And this is from TJ Maxx last year. I have several fun fall towels, so I usually swap them out. My little scarecrow is currently on my stove. And then lastly, in my kitchen over here, I just have one little sign that says, hello, fall. And that is from Hobby Lobby as well. And I picked that up last year. And the only other space that I decorate for fall is my office. So this is my office, which you guys saw when I completely redid this space. So I do have a few things in here just because I film in here. So I like to have the fall in the background. Plus I love fall. So I have this cute little grateful, thankful, and blessed sign from Hobby Lobby last year. I have these cute little wood pumpkins with little orange beads on them. These are really cute. This is from Rite Aid, again, a few years ago. I have this welcome to our patch. This used to have a stake on it that went into the ground, but it broke off. So now I just use it as a decoration. This is from Hobby Lobby last year, but I did know that I did notice that they have this again this year. And then over here, this is kind of my main filming area. This is going to look familiar. This is generally the backdrop of most of my videos. So I have this cute little resin Hello Fall from the Dollar Tree last year, and this cute little scarecrow harvest, again, from the Dollar Tree last year. And then over here, I have this cute tin pumpkin with kind of a copper stems. This is from Hobby Lobby last year. And this thankful, blessed, and pumpkin spice obsessed, which I am, is from TJ Maxx last year. And lastly in here, I have this cute little happy harvest sign. I've had this for so many years, I couldn't even tell you where I picked it up. If I were to guess, I would say Hobby Lobby several years ago. And wait, oh, that's not it. That's not it. I'm wrong. I have one thing on my desk over here. And this is the last thing. I have this cute little resin pumpkin with give thanks on it. And I just keep this out for fall and for Thanksgiving. So that's everything. Here is lunch. I'm starving. I ended up not having a morning snack as you saw. It is a little after 11 and I'm here for some lunch. So what I have here is some macaroni and cheese. Now I'm not going to give too much away because this recipe is coming in a video soon. 
So I'm not going to tell you anything more, but this is my mac and cheese. I have a breast of chicken here. This is actually, this whole thing is left over from dinner last night. So this is a breast of chicken. I marinated it in the G Hughes orange ginger marinade. I'll pop a picture in so you know which one I use. That is zero points. It is seven points for this portion of the macaroni and cheese. And then I have these jicama sticks from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to have some of those which are zero and dip them in one point's worth of this ranch dip from Kite Hill. This dip is so good. So my lunch is a total of eight smart points. The chicken carnitas are completely done, shredded. You can see that it did soak up most of the liquid. So what we are going to do is we're gonna make a bowl. So let me show you what we're gonna add to the chicken mixture. So for our bowl, I'm going to go ahead and drain and rinse these pinto beans and we'll add those. I have the plant-based queso, so I think that would be amazing in there to kind of give it a little bit of cheesiness and you know, taco, taco vibes. And then we have some light shredded cheese. We can top our bowl with that. Some sour cream. This is just the Green Valley Organic Sour Cream. This sour cream is really good, by the way. And then I also have some Siete grain-free tortilla chips. This is in sea salt. So I thought I would toss a few of those in there as well. That sounds amazing. So let's put together dinner. So here is dinner. I made basically a burrito bowl. So on the very bottom is one serving of the chicken carnitas. It is zero points on both blue and purple and three smart points on the green plan. 143 calories for one fifth of that whole crock pot. So really, really low. And then I have some beans for zero. I have one point worth of the queso. I have zero points worth of shredded cheese. I barely put any on there. And then I have three points worth of the sour cream and two points worth of the Siete sea salt chips on top, kind of crush those up on top. So it is three for the sour cream, two for the chips makes five points and one for the queso makes six. So this is a six smart point dinner. Here's my dessert for tonight. I'm gonna have the enlightened brownies and cookie dough. I do have 10% off if you wanna order enlightened online. Not an affiliate link, just 10% off for you. I'll put that down below. But yeah, this is my dessert and this is, will be the last thing that I'm having for today. Thank you for joining me on today's What I Eat In A Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing all of my meals, as well as that crock pot dinner. It was absolutely delicious and incredibly, incredibly low points, which is even better. So make sure you are checking out the description box so that you can head over to my website to pick up today's recipe. Also check out my nutrition coaching. I'd love to help you reach your healthy lifestyle goals, whatever those may be. And of course, discount codes and links to the items I shared with you today and everything that falls on my favorites list is in the description box as well. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel and I appreciate it. And of course, make sure that you are subscribed and your bell is turned on so you're notified whenever I upload. Again, I do upload most days of the week so you don't want to miss out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Happy Wednesday and I'll see you all in my next video.